it has been about a week since I last played this game. And Birkin ate me alive. And I have just been stewing in that. I have just been coming up with strategies. I've been watching videos. And you know what? I'm ready to get my revenge. I'm ready to kill that bitch ass Birkin. Oh, God. I want to get that S plus so badly. Just. Just so that I never have to do this again. This is the last S plus I have left to get. And I'm going in using a combination of strats that I've got from a bunch of different people. So, alright. Okay, knife, that's good. Got all my uh, acid shells, that's good. What else did I need? Uh, oh, the submachine gun, so I'll store that. Actually, I'll just store those because I don't need all of them. But let's get the submachine gun. Okay. Submachine gun, acid rounds. And you know what? I might as well take those two those two acid rounds with me too because that, that looks like it'll be enough, right? Use those on him. I got the knife and I got the... Alright, let's go. All right. So, Birkin uh, three, I'm not worried about, uh, cause it's right after the save point. So even if I fail a couple times, like I don't care, you know what I mean? I'll just restart. It's after I beat him and get to the That's other people. expected those to be acid shells because I didn't prepare properly. He is not playing around, he is just rushing.
Oh. I just let that happen. Triangle, 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 triangle. Triangle. There we go. Awesome. Oh, I actually won with some acid rounds left. Eight rounds, that's not that's not an insignificant amount. That might actually Well viewer, the last time I attempted this, I basically wasted all my bullets on Birkin um Birkin four. So that when I got on the train, he ate me alive. And that was one of the most frustrating moments of my life because I am so used to the fight on the train being a freebie I am so used to having enough bullets and just being bored as I unload into into him so having him chew me up and spit me out really pissed me off But now I got enough stuff. What is this here? Another flashback, sure. I got enough stuff to go into the. Gotta get back to Sherry. Alright, go into Birkin 4 with some confidence. Is what I need. Okay, so I got two flashbangs, so if an Ivy grabs me, I won't die. But I also got enough flame rounds that that's really not going to be an issue because I'll just burn them to death before they get to me. Let me just see something. Okay, I can remove parts. Good. Because I don't think I'm going to need... We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to need that part when I battle... Uh... When I battle the next form of Birkin. We'll see. Sherry, can you walk faster? Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but... We have to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, go ahead. Don't take your time. Yeah. Don't rush, Sherry. Just take your damn time. I hate this elevator so much. It's like at this point, it's like I just want to get to the end game already. You know what I mean? And everyone's taking all their their sweet ass time. We gotta. I get it. They're building ambiance. And like, look, the world's being destroyed. But I'm like, dude, I gotta rush. I wish this was just a skippable cutscene. Also, for practical reasons, this is probably a loading screen. That was one of those things where I saw it was like one of those trivia things where where, where they're like, did you know at Resident Evil 2 there's no loading screens after you first, you know, after the first one? And I'm like, well, here's the thing. They, they pad that out by having these in, these on, you know, these in-game loading screens that you can't skip, you know, like, for instance, having to wait through this. Or like, you know, just, just elevators in general. I mean, I get it. What else could they have done, right? Better save the star in my life. It's like, normally I wouldn't even bother grabbing the blue herb down here, but seeing as how, um... Seeing as how I might need it in the last fight, and I, uh, also... have the flame rounds and the, um... defense items to spare. In case it screws up the timing with the ivies, I don't mind, you know?
stupid things lost. I like the fact that. I like the fact that at least, um, at least, uh, Sherry teleports, you know? At least it's like, yeah, after you examine the door, you don't gotta wait for her to run. Little thing of teleporting like that is nice, I like. I think this will be a good enough setup for me. Enough for oh wait, actually no, I gotta make room for the actual grenades. Alright, so I'll ditch the flame rounds, I don't need those. Now the actual grenades, I got three, and I'll ditch the uh, one magnum round for three grenades. That's a like a fair thing. Alright, so. Alright, this should be more than enough to beat Birkin with. <laughs> so my goal is to beat Birkin with uh, 200 rounds and still in the Gatling gun. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to go for. Because I figure uh, last time, I forget how many rounds I had, but I didn't have enough Gatling gun rounds, and the final form of Birkin ate me alive. But I. Uh, I watched videos of other people playing, and it looks like it takes about 150-ish rounds to the weak spot with the Gatling gun to kill him. Uh, you know what I'm gonna go with? I'm gonna go, I'll start this out with the grenade launcher. Let's go, bitch. Jump on that. Well, that's an issue.
My goal is I'm trying to lure him over here because I stay in these corners, he can't get me. He just no sold that. So the first time he jumps, he jumps on top of that. The second time he jumps, he's gonna jump right on top of you. So just don't stop moving. One good spot about when he starts running like that is he can't change direction. So if you stay around this uh, corner here, he can't get you. If I'm understanding correctly, his eyes are red, which means he's close to dying, if, I, uh, if I'm understanding correctly. Or maybe his eyes might just be orange, which is like the second stage. Oh, I'm out of grenades already. Shit, here I am trying to use grenades on him. Oh shit, barely missed him. You know what, it's fine, because I do got enough healing items. Magnum, and I got two more shot, 200 rounds from the Gatling gun. Nothing cheap there. Trying to be patient, but at the same time, you know, the ticking, ticking clock is scary. All right, now I just gotta let him die. Once he enters this stage, he is dying. I can shoot him and help. Him. Make him run out the clock faster, but I'm gonna need the bullets, so. Oh no! Let's see what I can do here. Alright, I gotta keep that, get rid of that. 
bolts do I got? Large caliber ammo. Okay, do we got one magnum round? We got one flame round. Don't need that. And uh, this is it. Uh, yeah. All right. Now this should be enough. The thing is, I'm just scared. So. I should have dropped off the start mark shot. I could have. Spot was revealed. You gotta stop meeting like this. All right, let's uh. Hope you like bullets, cause I got a hell of a lot more. In theory, this should be it. I should kill him. I should have enough to kill him with just my Gatling gun right now. Every other, literally every single other playthrough I ever watched, this has always been enough. <sighs> What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? I was cutting it close. What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? to laugh at the ridiculousness of it I I was off by two seconds <laughs> two seconds well that's it for this session. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Just so you know.